Hey everyone. Most animal rights activists tend to talk about dairy when the topic of cows comes up. We all know about the artificial insemination, the cow napping, the anguish, and the murder in the dairy industry. I still remember the first time I learned about udder singe, a process to remove hair out of cow's udder using fire. But don't worry, it's only a low heat flame, according to the farmers. They say it feels just like a tickle. I'm sure all these same farmers would be lining up to be tied down and have a flame applied to their genitals though, right? Yeah. Rarely do I ever hear anybody talk about cattle for beef purposes though. I thought I was done being shocked. Just when you thought you'd seen it all, animal agriculture springs a new, lovely surprise on us. Introducing calf grafting. Let's hear a farmer explain in their own words why the process is done. She went into labor this morning. The calf was too big and we did not get to it in time. So her calf was stillborn. Now, we have a bottle calf that we've had for weeks that what we're gonna try to do is get the bottle calf to pair with this mother. So what we did is we are going to um, graft this calf and grafting means that we're gonna put a calf on a mom, mama cow, but they, but the calf is not from the original mama. If this is all this entailed, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. It's what she says next that's quite disturbing. There's an advanced form of grafting because the mama cows generally will not just accept any calf because it doesn't smell like her calf. So the extended form of grafting, grafting is that we take the hide from that stillborn calf and we put it on this bottle calf so that that mama will think that this calf is hers because it smells like her calf. So this is the um, new mama. She has never had a baby before until this morning. And this is our bottle calf that we have. So let me get this straight. A calf dies, they remove the skin from the dead calf, place it on a living calf, just to trick a new mother into thinking that her calf is still alive. What are we doing? Oh my goodness. Um, coming up and she was cuddling on this calf and um, licking on it. So to her, she's like, okay, this is my calf. Now Angel here, she's not real keen on being around her because she knows that's not her mama. So what we're going to do is I did not give Angel her bottle this morning. And we're gonna go ahead and let her get hungry enough so that this afternoon, we're going to take this mama and we're gonna put her in the chute and we're gonna teach Angel here how to suck from this mama. Looks like a really great experience for the mother, that's for sure being forced to stand in what they call a head catch to immobilize her, to force her to stay there while some foreign calf comes up and tries to suck on her. Awesome work, humanity. Good job. Because she, this one here, has never been a mother before. If we can get her to accept this calf, then she will immediately learn the mothering skills and she will since she'll be sucking from her bag, getting the milk, she will cycle and be able to be bred back better. It's better for Angel or any kind of calf to be mothered by a real cow, get real cow's milk, because what happens is, yeah, you can give them, um, you know, the powdered milk, but they will not grow. They will not grow as well as if they are on the mama cow. And like most of these farmer videos, the real reason always comes out. 
money. Cha-ching! You don't want to bottle feed them because they won't be as big for you, aka make as much money for you. Yeah, it's not the most pleasant thing in a farmer's life. Um, there are a lot of unpleasant things in a farmer's life. Maybe the fact that you do a lot of unpleasant things is a sign you shouldn't be doing them in the first place? I have worked in the medical field before, um, and when I think about the special type of people that it takes to work in the medical field and do what's necessary for the benefit of everyone, this is the same type of thing in a farmer's life. We have to do unpleasant things because they're necessary. This is the same type of thing. This is quite possibly the most disturbing thing I've heard to date. Skinning a dead calf and putting their skin on another calf to fool the mother cow into believing that this is their child. What the f are we doing? I cannot think of anything more repugnant than this. Is that your baby? Yeah. Right on. She just took her. We had her drink her in the barn. And then yeah, she, she's even sniffing the original legs of the new calf and she's happy with that. She's licking the hide. So yeah, so Frank, he cut a hole around the head and then hole around the front legs. So we've got the front legs through, like a pair of pajamas. It's all closed around her. And the back, the one back legs through to keep the hide on better. About three days to leave the hide on. But look, she's even licking the face. It's like something straight out of Hannibal Lecter. But I think education is important. So leave a comment down below if you know something that's even worse than this disgusting act. Thank you for watching, and remember, no injustice can last forever. Do you think most people one day are going to be vegan? 100% evil can't last forever. Most people look at this and don't want to support it.